live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour, with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Here at TFNN.com, your headquarters for technical trading and investing. I'm always here every day. Your humble host, David White. Dave's not here. Yeah, I am here. I can't. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here every day, whether or not uh, Cheech or Chong. I guess that's Tommy Chong says that Dave's not here. I am here every day, every trading day anyway. Now, just as a reminder, Monday uh, the markets are closed, and uh, we will uh, <clears throat> not be here. We get days off, but only when the markets are closed. Other than that, TFNN, we work 24-7, nights, weekends. We even work when we're sleeping. That's how good we are here. Anyway, uh, we've got a market out here moving almost none uh, after uh, Fed uh, beige chartreuse and the uh, mauve notes came out at 2 o'clock, uh, trading up about 8 points on the S&P cash, 2.4 billion shares. And uh, it's uh, looking a little doubtful that I'm going to get my lower close this uh, week. But uh, it still looks like this market is waiting for some kind of surprise. I suspect that that is going to be uh, tomorrow or Friday morning. It looks like uh, they're hanging this thing out. A uh, little bit better of volume out here today, but certainly not enough uh, to actually drive this market much higher. On this day in 1987, the New York Stock Exchange racks up a daily volume of a quarter billion shares for the first time. 250 million shares. Now when I don't uh, see uh, 2.4 uh, billion shares walking in the door at 2 o'clock when the show, uh, show starts, I'm worried about uh, what's going on. Uh, back then, 253 million shares today in 1987. In broader historical news, Nixon halted all military action against North Vietnam in 1973. And uh, I actually hired a guy <clears throat> that uh, you'll see in uh, films. Uh, his name was Dale Duda. Duda, Duda. He was actually, his name was Dale Duda. And he was the last man off the roof into the helicopter, uh, leaving uh, the uh, uh, diplomatic, is it diplomatic mission? I forget what it was uh, there in Vietnam, but you'll see the video of it. And uh, it's kind of hard to make him out, but uh, there is a better uh, photograph of it by some press that he had. It showed him plainly being the last guy out on the last helicopter. Uh, but I'll always remember him. Deal, do da. Anyway, uh, as always, if you want to find out historical information, you can always go to the History Channel. Or uh, for financial news, uh, I always check out Jason Zywig's uh, thisday.php. And uh, any of the stuff that I talk about here on the show, I stand on the shoulders of everybody else. And uh, if you're looking for a link, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com, and I'll be glad to uh, talk about anything. You, of course, can always call me at 877-927-6648, and uh, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com Monday through Thursday, and uh, I'll try to check your emails at the bottom of the hour and answer them. If you don't want to come on the air, I know a lot of people are scared, I'm, you know, it's a talk to the koala bear of Wall Street. I, I know how just uh, uh, omnipresent I can be. And uh, so, uh, whatever. Anyway, we have a great day moving on here. A little bit of volume. Uh, the real thing is whether or not we close below 1843. We could have yet a about the 15th sell signal at these highs. <clears throat> and uh, we've got a particular opportunity. In fact, we've got a lot of great stuff going on here today, uh, but uh, let's get to it. Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow, American Express in the morning, BBT, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, Intel after the bell, PPG, and United Health, I think, is also after the bell. Uh, Friday, GE, Morgan Stanley, and Sun Trust. Uh, of the companies that could surprise us, 
uh, could be American Express, Goldman Sachs. I think Intel uh, looks like kind of a bogus upgrade uh, before earnings, and I think they wanted to run a few shorts. Uh, United Health, I don't have a good call on. Uh, GE is another one that could really make me uh, think that something interesting is going on. Morgan Stanley, all the uh, financials, I've gone through uh, their earnings reports. Uh, none of them did any uh, better business. What they did do is cut costs by firing lots more people. So uh, just like IBM, you can hang up at highs for a while by firing people, but eventually your company uh, stock price will come back down. Uh, you have to actually grow a business, and that's what everybody wants most. Uh, when you just go sideways, a uh, great uh, chance for uh, distribution in the stock market, which makes uh, big street names happy. Uh, and not uh, want to uh, try to force you out as a CEO. So there is a little bit of the game playing going on. Uh, but uh, these numbers in any way don't look good. Of course, the Fed came out <clears throat> with their beige chartreuse uh, and mauve book at 2 o'clock, not seeing a great deal of changes uh, in what they had to say, other than they think there's a uh, good, uh, good, good rear end, good bottom, <clears throat> under the market, not so much uh, sure about the uh, <clears throat> higher price. They don't think that we're uh, going to go back and crash or anything. But, uh, um, you know, there's uh, scattered kinds of uh, results all over the country, but that's pretty much what it was and uh, not a good indication that they're going to change the idea that they're going to taper. So uh, just about uh, nothing out there uh, looks like it's going to change in uh, a very narrow trading range out here in the S&P since um, the uh, announcement. <laughs> anyway, um, well, let's get on to the rest of the stuff. Nestor Incorporated, a penny stock, is up 1,900% uh, today, uh, or was earlier on the news, as investors confuse it for Nest, the company that Google bought yesterday. Uh, I'm talking about things that I normally see at highs in the market when things are very bubbly. Uh, did I say bubbles? Bubble. Bubble. Right. Bubbles. Bubble. Bubble. No, bubble. Yeah. Bubble. 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 I have to play that every time I say the B word. But anyway, um, Nestor... Uh, penny stock was up 1900 Their symbol just has, uh, happens to be NEST, and a lot of confused people about it. And of course, uh, nothing like a penny stock to go up 1900%. Um, I understand that the uh, government is looking into this as uh, we may have uh, a woofling of Wall Street out here uh, that uh, may have led people to believe uh, that was true and uh, may have caused this 1,900% rise on it. But uh, I'm going to have to say if you bought NEST thinking it was uh, the same company, uh, you didn't do your homework, and I'm going to uh, uh, say that uh, maybe... What are you people? On dope? I think you had to be on dope if you bought it, because it's an over-the-counter stock. Uh, don't think that... Uh, that's going to happen a lot. Netflix uh, down today. In fact, uh, let me get a current quote for the uh, wonderful Netflix. Uh, we talked uh, probably at length about how bad uh, the uh, – oh, that's Nest. Oh, it's back to three cents uh, in FLX. Anyway, uh, uh, Netflix is off about 11 bucks. We talked yesterday about the whole issue of net neutrality. Uh, at least uh, most market participants uh, or pundits is, are saying that the uh, downside to Netflix uh, today is based on that. It was down to 319. Certainly looks like it's going to be uh, under pressure for a little while. That's my new Under Pressure theme song. I'm going to have theme songs for everything, just so I, it, it, I entertain myself. If uh, you won't constantly call me and uh, distract me, I'm going to have fun with my music at the same time. Anyway, uh, down a uh, decent volume today, 3 million shares already. I don't know what, what 4, million, man, 4 million shares already, a little more than that. Uh, but 
mostly over Verizon's win yesterday that we talked about the whole net neutrality rule. I kind of like it when everybody starts talking the next day about what I was talking the day before or the week before. And uh, I, don't know, I, think, I think it was a good 24 hours in front of the uh, traditional uh, talking heads on TV. We're going to get into a few more uh, deep thoughts with Jack Handy here. First one is Jesse Livermore. It's no trick to be right on the market. I've known many men who were right exactly at the right time and began buying or selling stocks at exactly the right time. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you don't make money on that. It takes uh, some confidence. Anyway, I was short uh, X1, uh, and uh, let's get a current quote on that. Uh, and actually, I'm still short X1. Uh, we were short, I know, what was it, better than 66.50, I think, in the newsletter. I think I actually got short at 68, uh, something like that. Uh, ended up with an average price then about 68.50, something like that. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so we're doing fairly good on this trade, down another 10% or uh, 9% this morning. was down, uh, after hours, about 52 and uh, normally I would have taken the money just on this downside. Uh, being so close to the high, uh, there is a chance that we're going to get market failure. Another thing is there are a great deal of many uh, people in X1, uh, and the way it was trading and uh, checking the message boards, I assume that a great many of these people were uh, long on margin. Uh, these guys are going to be praying for the next two or three days to not get a margin call. And I'm speculating it. There's no way for me to actually know. But normally when you get these kind of blowouts, uh, the low price will come, especially if you're up against a three-day weekend and you're down to three days and you get the margin calls. I'm going to be sitting on this unless we get a huge move. Uh, but, um, you know, we could get yet another gap down tomorrow. Uh, we could see this bleed out for a week into the 42s. And um, maybe I'll show a chart in this in a little while. But uh, I suspect this is the prototype for the market that we looked at. If you go back and look at interday, uh, there was a severe operator in this pushing this thing up to about 70 bucks uh, before it fell off uh, uh, midday and back down. I had actually put out a update uh, for the Tech Insider crowd that the uh, uh, next blow off atop in 3D printers was coming. Uh, rather prophetic at 10 a.m. on Monday. And uh, well, we'll continue to watch it, but uh, uh, I am going to be sitting on my hands for a little bit uh, and see. But uh, when this thing came down, it's come down with heavy volume. Uh, uh, it is a company with about $20 million in revenue, uh, priced uh, significantly higher. Uh, so uh, a lot of times uh, uh, just sitting on your hands is going to make you a lot more money than constantly thinking. And we'll be talking about this when we come back in just a minute. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, visit TFNN.com today.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus can Contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Dave, take your phone calls. Now, now toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, I can't believe he's coming back. He's coming back to that ice ice, baby. There's no way. No way. Oh, boy. I, I, you know, if, if, if there's a seventh level of hell, yes, vanilla ice will be under there ripping off a, uh, a really good uh, duet with David Bowie and uh, Freddie Mercury and Queen. But uh, what can you say? Anyway, we're back to X1. Uh, and uh, that is uh, down with greater volume today. As we said, uh, probably a high opportunity. This thing gets down to fifty dollars and fifty-five cents, which is the previous low. There's also a gap just under forty-nine, uh, and wouldn't be surprised if it hit that. Uh, but when you have volume down and a move down and a gap down like this, certainly opens up forty-two dollars. And if we were uh, good enough to see the market turn on a day like this, uh, we could also have that. So uh, while we're up uh, slightly, what, $56.60 on X1 right now, I'm willing uh, to uh, sit on my hands for a little while uh, because of some sage advice uh, from Jesse Livermore and, of course, one of my favorite books. The successful trader has to fight these two deep-seated instincts. He has to reverse what you might call his natural impulses. Instead of hoping, he must fear. Instead of fearing, he must hope. He must fear his losses may develop into a much bigger loss. And he 
must hope that his profit may become a much bigger profit. So right now I've got a fairly big profit. I've got a position I can sit on that I'm not going to be blown out of. And uh, I've got a company that is uh, a pretty much uh, parabolic move uh, and uh, not much in the way of sales. Uh, a sector that uh, has worn twice now this week with uh, both SSYS and this and uh, we could see continuing problems. Uh, I like the fact that uh, many of the pundits on the financial infotainment shows uh, are not willing to say that maybe this is a uh, bubble in this market. I certainly think we could come back 50% on most of these stocks and want to differentiate the stock from the company itself. I think the companies are fine. It is a market that is long on hype. Uh, far outreaching what uh, the company's abilities are at the moment. And uh, one of the reasons I do bring this up was an industry I was in. It was uh, video editing. Everybody believed that uh, the next uh, uh, Scorsese was going to make a giant movie in the 90s because of new technology allowing people to edit video. Well, the problem is, uh, if you know anything about movies, and of course we were knee-deep in the business, uh, you don't make a movie by yourself. Uh, most of these movies have two or 3,000 people that at one point or another have done something and some kind of work on actually producing what you see on screen. Uh, a lot of people in the background, I'm not counting those weasels uh, that are executives that run around uh, on uh, cell phones going, yeah, baby, light and sweet, light and sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm back to you now. You know, all those uh, the slick characters on their tiger suits. But uh, uh, tiger skin, is that what a tiger skin? Uh, so, uh, remember those uh, slick suits like the gangsters wear. Anyway, a lot of them were wearing them when I was out there. Uh, anyway, uh, I digress. But uh, one of the things you need to do is uh, fear that your losses may develop into bigger losses and hope that your profit may become a much bigger profit. Uh, when you have a big break like this and you don't really see uh, a lot of uh, interest in saving the stock over the day, you, you kind of think or you know there's probably a, a lot of people in margin on a fast mover like this uh, that they uh, get uh, pulled out of it. Uh, we've had uh, two new now decent moves down. I'm expecting and thinking that we get one more and uh, that's where I would probably be covering uh, this short. but. Uh, Eh, I think there's a little bit more money left on the table, and I'm hoping there is. Uh, and one of the reasons I do is a thing called implied odds. If you have never read it uh, or ever played Texas Hold'em, uh, there is a guy that is an excellent player of it. His name is David Sklansky, and uh, he attended the Wharton School of Business, quit, uh, I think, to become, yeah, quit uh, early uh, to become a professional gambler. Uh, he has written a book, and we're going to get into that when we come back. But one of the things when I read it, you don't have to go gamble, uh, but it is an excellent treatise for un and understanding what you're doing as a business. Uh, he turned it into a business. He looked at it and turned it into what is known as game theory. Game theory is the science of trying to figure out what other people are going to do uh, based on what you do. And uh, a very decent part of uh, current uh, scientific research, but uh, an excellent book, and we're going to talk about that when we come back uh, in just a minute. Oh, there's our music. Anyway, give me a call, 877-927-6648. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. 
for all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back, uh, s and is up nine points. Uh, volume has slowed considerably, 2.6 billion shares uh, as we go into the second half of the show. And uh, we'll take a look at it. I was talking about a book. It's called The Theory of Poker by David Sklansky. Uh, and I think uh, if you uh, have ever watched uh, CNBC, you're going to see a handful of uh, guys on there that are uh, thought of as the rock stars uh, of uh, trading. Uh, David Einhorn's one of them. Uh, guess who wins all the poker, uh, big poker tournaments for uh, uh, charity uh, in New York? Uh, for the, mostly for the financial people, they put them together. Uh, David Einhorn. Uh, learning to make a good decisions, especially in the stock market uh, or during poker, is understanding your odds or at least uh, trying to set odds and live and play within those. Uh, there's probably not a better book about uh, understanding game theory uh, than this book, David Skolansky's. Even if it has nothing to do with uh, trading stocks in the market, you're going to understand at least one idea out here. And uh, that, uh, it, it, that uh, there is uh, implied odds in the marketplace. Uh, they get very big at these times in the market when we're uh, basically bucking new highs with lighter volume. 
And uh, a lot of times, especially during uh, options expiration week, you can see some rather wild swings. Everything um, I'm looking at still says that we've got uh, uh, a lot of fireworks before this week is over. And, of course, we're going into a three-day weekend, too. So it will be interesting. Um, also, the, the, a lot of people think, especially at Tops, uh, that markets uh, are uh, easy to short. If you go back and look at my X1 short on Monday, uh, about noon or so, you'd have to be pretty wa uh, kind of a little bit uh, wondering whether or not I was on the wrong side of that trade. Uh, and uh, to tell you the truth, I had a few butterflies in my stomach. But I know most of the trades where I'm going to make a lot of money, uh, a lot of times a lot of uh, doubt and indecision is better. When I'm really totally 100% confident, uh, the market is pretty good at uh, humbling me somewhat. Anyway, another good quote from Jesse Livermore is that uh, there's another thing to remember, and that is that a market does not culminate in one grand glaze of glory. Neither does it end with a sudden reversal of form. Uh, if you uh, look in, uh, uh, at that uh, X1 chart, how many times did it bump up in those levels uh, in the high 60s? Uh, and I had to sit through a couple of those days. Uh, but uh, everything, all my indicators, uh, options uh, showed that uh, you know, I was looking for an unstable uh, expiration this week on it. So uh, just about everything that I uh, use and all my tools uh, told me to stick with it. And um, this one thing, and that is a lot of times uh, the best shorts are the absolute hardest and most painful to hold on to. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about um, some of these issues this week uh, was uh, because uh, most people are, especially newer traders, unfamiliar with uh, how the market actually gets its money. Uh, mostly it sucks in a, a ton of money at the top and it pukes out a great deal of money at the bottom. And uh, there's a thing called conditional, uh, conditional expectations. Uh, if you are a, a female uh, in the United States, uh, right now, uh, you would have a basically an average uh, life expectancy of about uh, 72 years old. If you're a gentleman, about 68. Uh, but if you get to 72, uh, because there's so many things that drag down uh, the front part of that curve, you actually, uh, if you get to 72, you have a huge possibility of living till 78. So you're 72 years plus one day in a woman. Uh, guess what? You, you've, gotten the, you've gotten a grand prize. You're probably going to live uh, a great uh, proportional uh, amount of the time to uh, 78. If you make it to 78, the curve starts heading back down again. Uh, and, of course, uh, you get to 92. Uh, I can take a fairly decent bet that you're 92 uh, and less than uh, 94. Uh, if I get to 110, I can probably make a big bet that you're uh, 110 and maybe a few weeks old. Uh, if you get to 120, I could probably make a huge bet that you're 120 and maybe an hour past your birth date. Uh, the conditional expectations continue to roll down. In the stock market, though, I'm showing a um, kind of a bell curve here, which is what most people would expect in the stock market. Uh, that is, uh, you know, an average uh, up and down at the highs and lows in the market uh, where people uh, cash in and cash out. How much money are you making? Uh, one of the problems is you get down to the bottom and uh, what you think the return should be, uh, or negative returns, depending on whether you're at the, uh, on the highs or lows of the market, uh, curve right around. Just like the lady that got uh, 72 years old plus one day, suddenly uh, 78 is not out of the realm of a possibility. And uh, uh, actually, I changed this chart. I don't have, I don't think I've got... Uh, it in my presentation here, maybe I can find it. Ah, hey, here it is. Let's go ahead and just show this one. I don't have time to, to physically change it, but I am going to show the chart. Uh, you actually have uh, what is in the uh, statistical uh, parlance called the fourth quadrant, and that is you get down uh, to where you think the market's not going to go any uh, lower, and uh, your conditional expectation is that uh, the woman is 110 years old and she's going to live two more minutes, so you go long. It's down at uh, maybe the bottom, or um, you're up at the top and you think that the market uh, can't go any higher. 
Well, you've got two things going for you, and that is the last uh, 80 or well, the last 20 percent of statistics uh, tend to fail. That's why uh, 100 years floods come every 30 years. We also have uh, uh, other issues. Uh, but uh, this is a lot more, the chart I'm showing now, uh, a lot more of what you should really expect uh, for distributions for wins and loss and money coming in and out of the market. And that is that uh, you do tend to see uh, a great deal more lost at the very bottom where you think the, the odds of ever losing that money uh, are not there. But uh, for the most part, um, you know, three-fourths, seven-eighths of the time, uh, you're going to probably be in a nice standard bell curve for expectations of what you're going to get. Uh, but uh, just remember uh, why Keen said uh, the market can uh, uh, move uh, more irrationally uh, and longer than you can remain solvent. Uh, that's why we have to use stops. But the reason for stops and the reason that statistics don't work are, are just that. And that is that you get to a conditional expectation, and then the stocks blow apart even farther, and no one believes it. And, of course, a uh, lot easier to buy these uh, dips in the market a lot of times than it is to uh, short the top. And if you look at the top uh, in this bell curve, uh, you can be awful close and be early, and it's going to take a lot of time, like they say in basketball, hang time. And uh, yeah. just a thought out there, but uh, I'm going to be talking about a lot of these statistical issues uh, and uh, how to use options to trade equities on uh, February 11th. We're going to have a, a special uh, webinar, and there's going to be more details coming online. Uh, one of the things we did for the art of the uh, chart, uh, art of timing the trade charts, uh, subscribers, um, I had been thinking that maybe we're so close to a high here. Uh, that we might get a failure over the next few days. I think the odds actually of placing a trade uh, short or buying options now are, are uh, about as good as they ever get, probably as good as they were uh, in the March lows of uh, 2009. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out to most of the people using Art of the Charts uh, is something that we don't talk a great deal about, uh, because the markets have been moving up, and that is the ability to go back and find support and resistance levels with confluence. Confluence is where two separate Fibonacci uh, retracement levels uh, actually uh, have a very narrow uh, window between the 382 and the 618 of the two moves. Uh, the art of timing the trade charts does show that. I think I sent uh, the special out this morning. It took me about eight or ten hours to go through them by hand and find a lot of these with super uh, small areas. Uh, but there's two rules for using confluence. Uh, explained a lot uh, further in Tom's book, uh, The Art of uh, Timing the Trade. Uh, but uh, what you're looking for is a very narrow window of agreement between the two that uh, a lot of times, uh, like in the chart I'm showing now, the GDX, is just a few pennies wide. In fact, this one goes from uh, $24.36 to $24.48. So what do you got, 12 cents? Uh, I like about 1%, and uh, even if you multiplied it by 4, 12 cents only gets to you about, what, half a percent? Uh, those kind of windows give you two things. One, an excellent opportunity to understand what a target might be on the upside, but also a great uh, idea of where you would want to sell and where uh, a large amount of resistance will come in the market. Uh, normally, uh, I like to put this together with other kinds of things, price and uh, volume movement. But I know a lot of people in the DIN and a lot of listeners to TFNN are long equities in the uh, gold miners. Uh, and, um, you know, there's not a whole lot to say uh, where we're at now. Uh, but uh, certainly you could see gold miners go as high as uh, $24.36 before they see uh, a lot of overhead resistance for those people stuck in stocks much higher. And uh, eh, this is a good one to keep an eye on. I'll keep it uh, and probably comment uh, on the ways up. Uh, gold keeps on trying to move down. It doesn't find a lot of pushing. I think uh, we could get back up there, maybe even come back down to this area. Uh, but uh, long term, um, probably this year, 
Uh, I would not be surprised uh, seeing 2436 being kind of a, a real, real tough high to get through on the GDXs. Um, <laughs> uh, comment in the den. Anyway, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. And you can always email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, I've got a few uh, emails. I'll try to get to them uh, during the next break if I get a chance. Uh, I did want to point out some stocks uh, that uh, had a possibility of uh, giving some signals out here. Uh, one that I wanted to uh, possibly short but probably wouldn't during expiration week is Tesla. Uh, this thing has pretty much come right back up to the point. Uh, and, again, this is where I've been uh, taking off a lot of these short positions that have been turning into big winners. And that is as they start filling these gaps and running all the shorts out, uh, there aren't very many shorts uh, in the market left over. Uh, there's no natural buyers on the way down. And while we're seeing big gaps down in things like uh, GME uh, and uh, other stocks, uh, and, you know, if you've got a lot of shorts, uh, they tend to cover rather quickly and give a pillow on the way back down. Uh, when we see stocks like this where you get a big, huge move uh, back up into a gap on a dubious business uh, model, kind of like Tesla, uh, they're up uh, pretty much because, uh, uh, what was that? That's the 14th. Uh, let's go back. Uh, uh, did I run it? Hang on just a second. Uh, program options. So, okay. Hang on just a second. Come on. Oh, well. Anyway, it's, uh, let's get a current quote for it. Uh, TSLA. Yeah, it's at 166. So, uh, uh, you know, we've got a fairly decent, uh, uh, move into the 166 was much, what was it? Yeah, well, up to 172 today. Uh, so it pretty much uh, got up and filled that gap, uh, pulling back down into it today. Uh, but uh, uh, come on. Give me, come on, Internet. Yeah, not going to work right now. Not exactly sure. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got what looks like uh, oh, the twins by the Facebook and Bitcoin. Okay. And anyway, uh, looking at this, a uh, fairly interesting chart. Uh, what I really like is the move back up uh, a shy of today. Uh, looks more like an exhaustion move out here. Uh, I would think about maybe shorting this on Tuesday when I come back, and I will be looking at it quite strongly. Uh, let's see what else we have. Microsoft, uh, I've been watching this kind of closely to see whether or not uh, it would have uh, any support uh, as it came back into this gap. It certainly came down there with lighter volume, uh, went up and uh, broke out on the 25th of October with 113 million shares, got back into it with 45 million, probably a good indication that uh, you at least have some level of support around that just under $35 level. Uh, not much volume coming in to it today. Um, I would not be surprised to see this thing uh, pull back and close out uh, somewhere on Friday around the $36 level. Anyway, we'll be coming back in just a minute. You can always give me a call at 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. Or email me at path at tfnn.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Anyway, uh, I got my uh, internet to work here, and uh, uh, Tesla wanted to show just this little spinning top out here uh, coming back up into this high of volume day. Again, you had some decent volume yesterday that's petering out here today and again uh, this company pretty much getting its juice because they're going to sell 6,000 cars a year instead of 5,000 cars like actually in a quarter and uh, the question is uh, well they're priced where they're at their cap value uh, they should be selling what uh, two or three hundred thousand cars uh, to be what they're worth uh, as far as their stock price so uh, there's going to be a day of reckoning don't know when it is uh, but uh, most of these stocks that we're seeing in these high flyers uh, that have real problems with valuation uh, still up here at these levels uh, but uh, I'd be looking at this thing maybe Monday and seeing if you couldn't get once back up into this 181 and see the volume really just fall out. Uh, what you want to see is all the shorts uh, getting out of a stock uh, and 
uh, uh, ISRG kind of a good example of that. Netflix is the same thing. Uh, we're seeing these stocks that have been blown apart come right back up into these trading uh, areas and just roll right back over. And uh, even though you had a little bit of juice uh, coming back up into these, um, it's not tough to actually see uh, just how much overhead resistance a lot of these stocks that have come way off their highs have once they're coming back up. Intuitive Surgical, probably a little bit more than uh, some of the others. Uh, Netflix is a good example. Uh, but these, uh, this isn't the kind of movement uh, normally associated with a market ready to uh, take off and break up to higher levels. Had a question during the uh, break and that was uh, what do I, uh, how much higher do I think uh, the market could go here if it does close higher today? And my answer is I think we've seen the high uh, today. Uh, I think the worst case scenario for the next two days is uh, that we see, you know, some close on Friday at 1850. Uh, but I continue to think that we uh, have uh, every opportunity to expect a surprise over the next couple of days uh, in earnings if it didn't when we come back on Tuesday. Uh, but uh, we're probably at the fairly far extreme of uh, that uh, move that I showed earlier. And uh, I don't think that there's much more. question is just how long can they hold up on that edge. The same thing uh, that we've seen with several of these stocks uh, that have been blown apart, and that is a push out to the side um, of uh, just uh, – uh, you know, how hard can they push these things uh, to the last penny uh, before the straw that breaks the camel's back? Uh, but uh, that's uh, a little, just a little bit. Uh, anyway, we're going to check uh, back with the market and just see what we have. We're up uh, 10 points on the S&P cash, 2.7 for a billion shares. Uh, and uh, eh, it's not a whole lot else to say uh, about that. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, and uh, what else do we have? Uh, there's a few stocks that are kind of interesting that I've been watching. One of them is IMAX. This thing uh, had a nice little bounce up, uh, and it's out testing its lows. Uh, volume's not all that bad. Uh, popped up with 1.7 uh, billion shares, uh, or 1.7 bill, uh, million shares, excuse me, uh, having an Austin Powers moment there, on the 24th of October. Uh, back with 52 million, uh, uh, 520,000 shares yesterday, and uh, 224,000 now. I'm not a big fan of these, especially with 3D movies probably going the way of the dodo bird for probably about the 10th time in the last 100 years. Uh, but uh, there are some stocks out there making some signs of uh, at least trying to, to bottom on these pullbacks. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. And remember, between now and then, so when you can, not when you have to. And uh, there's only one right side of the market. It's not the bull side or the bear side. It's the right side. See you tomorrow. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.